This is the image zoom template at SharePointDashboards.com. This template has a simple purpose. It allows you to take an image column or a hyperlink picture column and you can add buttons which allow you to increase or decrease the image as it's sized in the columns. So the setup for this is pretty simple. You need to pick the field type you're using. As I mentioned, there's two types of ways you might set up an image in your SharePoint columns. There is a image field. The other option is a hyperlink using the picture option. So be sure to select which of those two options you're using. In my case, I have an image column and I need to format that. You do need to create a corresponding number field, which by default in the settings it's set as width. That means you need to create a number field and simply call it width. And that number field is going to be used to store the value to enable this zoom in, zoom out functionality. And then you can make some other tweaks as needed. The increment setting allows you to control how much the picture increases or decreases in zoom whenever you click the buttons on the top of the picture. The default width is the width of the picture in the case that nothing has yet been set. So I'm going to go ahead and stick with these default settings. I do have an image type field, so I will copy the template follow the directions in the box and then come to the column header column settings format this column select all paste and save and there you go you see it with the formatting now i had already been playing around with this so we'll just try this out and you can see it does just exactly what you would expect you click on the plus and the picture gets bigger if you click on the minus it gets smaller now notice sharepoint will clip that with the column width, but that's quite easy to adjust. You just need to drag the column width wider if your picture gets cut off on the right hand side. And you can see, depending on whether you have a dark or light background, um, these buttons will work either way. There's a hover, which makes a white background, and you can see there's a translucent white background, so you'll be able to see those buttons regardless of what your picture looks like. And that's it. That's all there is to it. If you want to format the size of pictures, give it had some interactivity to your SharePoint list. When it comes to pictures, you can use this template. Now, if you have more than one image column, let's say that I had image two and three in that same list record, you would need to create more width fields as well in order to have this type of functionality. So if I were going to do something like that, I might have fields, for example, in my case called image one, width one, image two, width two, and so on. And then it's easy to set up. You would simply change the name of the width field uh, to match up with what you're doing. So that's all there is to it. I hope you find that interesting. And I hope that if you're loading images into a SharePoint list, that you can take advantage of this functionality. If you do not yet have your login for SharePoint dashboards, you can go to sharepointdashboards.com and get a free sign up for 21 free templates. And then if you go on past that, there are, as of this video, 154 different template options, different things you can do to create awesome looking SharePoint dashboards. Good luck.